guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul for you from Ross and Walmart. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, so if you'll excuse my lighting, I know it looks a little different. I don't know if I like it or not. I'm just using my umbrella lights. Um, my ring light burnt out, so I'm waiting for a new bulb to come in. So anyway, if you'll just excuse the lighting, I know it looks a little different. And excuse this giant bump that I have right in the center of my forehead. So anyway, if you want to see what I got at Ross and Walmart, then just keep watching. Okay, so my husband bought a few things for me the other day when he went to Walmart. He's so sweet to think of me. So I just wanted to show you what he got. He just picked up some makeup that he didn't think that I had. And I'm actually wearing one of the lipsticks today. This is the Koki Professional Kissable Liquid Lipstick. And this is the shade Hot, Hot Pink. <laughs> but this reminds me of Jeffree Star's Prom Night. If you've ever seen that shade, it kind of reminds me of that. So this could possibly be a dupe for that. Okay, the next thing he got me was also from Koki Professional. And this is just a new makeup brand at Walmart. And this is their matte lipstick. I don't have any of their like regular lipsticks. Um, just the liquid lipsticks. And um, I was excited to try this one. This is the shade Rome. It's like a pretty lavender shade. I'll go ahead and swatch this one. That's what it looks like. And this one reminds me of the Hard Candy lipstick in the shade Chalk in Pink. This one's a little bit lighter. So they're not exactly, but they're similar. And it also reminded me of another one I had by MAC, and this is MAC. Uh, Mateen lipstick and this is Strutting Fabulous. This one might be a little closer. Okay, so they're not all alike, definitely not dupes, but they are in the same shade range. And they're all like different levels of lavender <laughs> if you're looking for a lavender lipstick. The next thing I got is one of the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. I thought I had them all, but I didn't have this one. And this is like the pearlescent pink shade. It's just a light pink. You could probably even use this as a highlight. But I doubt it's going to show up very well on camera. But there's that. And then he also got me a Koki Professional Makeup Brush. This looks like their, I thought it was a powder brush, but they are saying this is the round blush brush. And it comes in this nice case. So let's open that. It kind of reminds me of the Flower Beauty brushes. It is very soft, so that's nice. I would probably use this more for like blending out contour than I would for blush though. That's just me. And lastly, I got this Browy Wowie Brow Pen from LA Colors. And I believe I got this at Dollar General. This is in the shade Light Medium. And I'm not going to open this yet because I just opened a new brow pen and I'm going to try this one later. So I'm sure you'll see it eventually. Okay, the next thing I got, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this for myself or give it as a gift. Honestly, I totally want to keep it for myself, but I should probably give it as a gift because I have a lot of brushes. But this is the Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection Spotlight Essentials. It comes with a beautiful snakeskin looking white um, brush roll and um, it has RT embossed into it for real techniques and it has three real techniques brushes um it looks like 
You can use this brush to set your under eye with powder, set your whole face with powder. You can use it for blush, highlight, um, blending contour, probably use it for contouring. This brush is very versatile. I got one just like it from True Beauty. If I can find it, I'll show you real quick. Yes, this one is from True Beauty and it is just a dupe for the Real Techniques ones. I love this one for setting my under eyes. That's why I picked this up, but it's very similar. Mine's dirty. And then it comes with this concealer. I would think this is a concealer brush and then a blending crease brush. And it has rose gold, gold, and silver. So, I don't know if I'm going to keep this for myself or not. I probably will. Ooh, is that bad? This is probably going to go up after Christmas anyway. I don't know when I'll get to it. But this was $14 at Ross. And that's a pretty good deal for Real Techniques brushes. So, usually just one brush is like $10 to $15. Or $7 to $15. So, I thought this was a great deal on those brushes. So, yeah. Next. I found this. Next, I found this Remington bikini trimmer. Um, number one women's hair removal brand. And it's just like a coral color. 100% um, waterproof. So, it, I guess you could use this in the shower. Yes, safe for shower use. Battery included. That's surprising. Um, four adjustable length settings. So yeah, I'm not going to go into details. You guys know what this this is for. So yeah, just wanted to try this out because I've never tried one. I've always just used a razor, but I want to try this out. And this was $7 at Ross. Next, I bought some more cleaning gloves. These are um, red and leopard print. So I had to get these and these were $4.99 at Ross. Clean Concepts cleaning gloves. And yeah, they're waterproof, keep each pair in a different place, perfect for bathroom cleaning, kitchen, dishwashing, gardening, and pet care. So I just threw mine away because our puppy chewed up a bag of ant bait poison. Like you, It's like stuff you sprinkle on ant mounds and we had some in our yard. So we had that on our back porch and the puppy chewed up the bag and I had to go out there and clean that up and I used those gloves and I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to toss these and get some new ones. So pick these up. Lastly, I got myself a soft blanket. I'm obsessed with throw blankets, you guys. Like I just love cozy, soft, comforting things these days and the kids love them too. Everybody, I think everybody loves a nice soft blanket um but this one is lavender and this is the bed and bath collection by style sanctuary inspired living this is their decorative sherpa back throw and this one is 50 inches by 60 inches 100 percent polyester sewn label for laundry instructions and this one was 12.99 at ross and it's comparable to 24 dollars and it's like got some like fleecy feeling soft inside i'm just really excited about this <laughs> i have a ton of these i really shouldn't have bought another one but the kids are always jacking mine so i need another one needed yeah I said. the next thing are these adorable shoes oh my gosh like when i saw these i was like these are like the perfect shoes like they're just perfect to look at them they're black with brown and these are by Report and I got these on sale for $17.99 at Ross. Super, super cute, chunky heel, platformy. I just love, just love. And so that's everything for this haul. I actually did get a lot more at Ross, but I'm going to make it into two videos because um, the other one is mostly kids clothing. So you'll see that probably next. So if you like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell if you want to be updated every time I upload. So I thank you all so much for watching and I love you all and Jesus loves you too. God bless you all. Bye.